Sasa mukisikia tumeingia pale. Na kazi inafanyika. Mupiga makofi peke yake. People are not addicted majority to alcohol. But those who are addicted are addicted to matters of drugs. We have too many young people in millions out of school, out of college, out of universities. But they have no opportunities to work. The government says it will not lose sight on the ongoing war on illicit brews, a mission that has seen Deputy President Rigal Gashagwa take the front seat. I have a problem, so please allow me. ...of national IDs and passports. Tumekuwa na mambo mengi. Chumi yetu ilikuwa katika mahali ambapo hapakuwa bazuri sana. Furaha yangu ni kwamba Mungu ametupatia nafasi. Na hata nilisema jana kanisani, tuko na nchi ya ajabu, tuko na nchi ya baraka. Na hiyo baraka itazidi wakati tunamuomba Mungu. So I want to ask you as religious people, as people who believe in God, to continue to pray for our nation. Because Kenya is a great nation. It's a truly blessed country. And it is our responsibility to make it greater. If we look at it broadly, there are many global conflicts. Global conflicts you have the Ukraine and Russia. You have the Gaza conflict with Palestine. Then you have several conflicts on the African continent as well. The Sahel region, parts of Western Africa, Sudan, South Sudan. Then we also have challenges in some in Somalia, in some sections of Somalia, one thing comes out clearly, that these conflicts, whether you're going to the Afghan or other places, these conflicts are hurting the Muslim community much more than we imagine. So it is on an occasion like this, that I say that let us pray so that these conflicts can come to an end. The President of Kenya is at the center of it in terms of trying to broker peace in a lot of these regions. You can imagine the focus that would have been there on other matters but the focus now comes to resolving conflict. So prayers are so important. And whatever you can do also as diplomats from the Muslim faith, please put your best foot forward so that you can have peace in all these regions and conflict can come to an end and we can live and get our children to school. Ni mcha mungu na tena habagui dini yoyote. Tangwa na alipo chukua hatamu ya ungozi, ukiangalia pale Kenya lipokuwa, na ndani ya mwaka mmoja pale Kenya imefika, kusema kweli utaona ni mkono wa mwenyezi mungu. Tumetoka pabaya. Wengi utasema kwamba ni vicho vietu kama viongozi ndo tumefanya tukafika pale tulipofika. Lakini kitu ama siri kubwa mbo imesababisha mabadiliko haa mazuri katika inchi hii ni kwamba tunaraisa mbaya na jali ni mcha mungu. The cost of living is no longer a political discussion and many other issues that uh, were ailing this country, Your Excellency, you've been able to resolve them. Uh, Your Excellency, I also want to thank you for recognizing the Pemba community, uh, which is also largely a Muslim community, now they can get IDs. Your Excellency, you have also continued to be very inclusive in your appointments. And Your Excellency, what we want to assure you is that we will also uh, work with you. We will support your leadership 
uh, so that you can continue to lead our country to greater heights. Uh, Your Excellency, at this time, we also pray for you so that you can continuously be consistent and patient and lead this country to prosperity. But its remarks by Mombasa Governor Abdul Somad Sharif Nasil that the fight should target drug barons that left the DP pondering on whether it was a fight solely against illicit brews. So that Muslims should not feel excluded. It is a great pleasure once again to be here. Asla Fund, in the last two years, close to 50 billion is the document called ID to help the Minister of Interior to issue passports in a record of three. And may God bless all of us. Thank you. Muhammad, may peace be upon them all. Tunataka mtoto wa Kenya. Awe muislamu mkristo. Awe anatoka sehemu yoyote ya Kenya. Wapate nafasi sawa. And that every child should be treated equally. Ile policy ilikuweko pale mbeleni. Imebidi tuibadilishe. And we have now concluded the policy documents. And from the beginning of May this year, in a few days from now, there will no longer be vetting for people who want to get IDs. And I am going to be issuing a policy document to make sure that we have a mechanism that is similar to other Kenyans so that we don't discriminate on the basis of religion or region. Uyu rais wetu aliingia serikali kukiwa na matatizo mengi. Lakini baada ya mwaka moja unusu. Kwa BD, hard work, commitment, focus. Uchumi wa Kenya umeanza kuonesha dalili nzuri ya kuelekea mbele. As we speak, munajua pale mwezi mbili liopita, dola ilikuwa 166, sasa imetermuka diyo hiyo, inaelekea huko chini na itaendelea kuteremka kwa hivyo muendelee na biashara ya pili ni kwamba rais wetu katika mikakati ya serikali amepanga mambo ya usalama nyinyi hamwezi fanya biashara kama hakuna usalama katika Kenya for the first time in the last one and a half years ndio usalama wa Kenya umedumishwa na jia sawa sawa hakuna robbery with the violence hakuna burglary hakuna terrorism sasa kila mtu afanye biashara na biashara ziendelee kupanuka kwa sababu ya hali nzuri ya usalama mmesema kuhusu hasla fund kwamba ni kweli wa Kenya zaidi ya milioni 15 wa Kenya zaidi ya milioni saba. consistently wana benefit kutoka hasla fund na pengine kwa sababu ya Vile the financial product has been packaged. Not many Muslims can participate. Uh, it is the first time uh, I, am, I am receiving that request and I want to guarantee that I will process that request. Ili has la fund pia iwe na sharia compliant component. Ndiyo wa Kenya wengine waweze pia ku participate. Nataka ni mulize professor, amesema other financial products ya serikali pia, ijumuishwe. I would uh, request or ask that if you give me a proposal on, and you have said you have professionals who can work out on proposals on other government instruments that can also be made available and compliant I would value receiving that proposal so that we can process because we want to live together as a society and we want to benefit together in the products that we have as a nation. Kwa maneno ya nduguzetu wa nubi, nikweli, they have not been gazetted as a, as a community in Kenya. Lakini, at the moment, 
Ata wakienda kuchukua ID, they are already identified as a community in, with the national IDs. But I think it is good to complete that process and gazette it formally in accordance with the law as a tribe in the Republic of Kenya. So, nafikiri hiyo ndiyo itakuwa kazi yangu December mwaka huu. Tuanze process kwa sababu lazima tupeleke mbaka tupate idhini ya bunge. So, tutashugulika na hiyo kazi ili baadae mwaka huu ndugu zetu wanubi waungane na wa Kenya wengine as a recognized community in the Republic of Kenya. We are very appreciative of this government and uh, the way as Muslims uh, your government has treated us. I for one in Lamu for the first time uh, we have had a peers whom you have appointed and we are very appreciative. So your excellency let me take this opportunity uh, to welcome you to Lamu. There are a number of development issues that we will want you uh, to uh, commence them. Vile mumeongea mkiwa viongozi wa dini ya kwamba there is a serious problem na munataka tupambane nayo. Sasa mukisikia tumengia pale na kazi nafanyika mupiga makofi peke yake. And Your Excellency, the course we have already started when we went there, under the team you asked me to lead, we made some changes. Quite a number of drug barons have been arrested. A lot of other middle-level peddlers are being arrested and work is going on. Katika Northern Kenya and Northeastern, tumekubaliana na waziri wetu wa ulinzi ya kwamba tukimaliza Ramadhani, we shall have a conference pale Garissa. Tafadhali, our sheikhs, our imams, elected leaders, mkuje tukubaliane. There is a big problem. A lot of drugs are coming through Moyale. A lot of drugs are fighting their way in all the small towns. Na watoto wetu wamekua zombies. And your concern is legitimate. We have very clear instructions from the president. The team, the multisectoral team that I lead, we have very clear instructions that this is a government under President William Ruto that will solve the problem of drug and substance abuse in this republic. People are not addicted majority to alcohol, but those who are addicted are addicted to matters of drugs. And if we don't speak it, then we will not be true to our people. And we are asking. Two days ago, I had a meeting with the county security team and we gave them our affirmation and I'm giving the affirmation right now to the head of state and the general of the republic your excellency whatever it is that needs to be done get it done we need to be able to get rid of the issue and the menace of drugs in our country and the county in general tukona changamoto ya vijana wengi wanaangaishwa na madawa ya kulevia na ulevi na mambo kama hayo kati ya matatizo ya hawa vijana ni wengi wao hawana ajira so we need to sort out the unemployment problem in Kenya we have too many young people in millions out of school out of college out of universities but they have no opportunities to work it is the reason why we have the housing program. It is the reason why we are expanding our special economic zones. It is the reason why we are expanding our footprint on uh, digital superhighway with ICT hubs. It is the reason why we are signing bilateral labor agreements with many countries including UAE, my brother is here, and many other countries, so that we can create opportunities for young people in Kenya to work.